Hello friends, Coach Chris here. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Hope you're having a great day. So today I'm really excited to continue our series on the Garmin Instinct 2 by taking a look at the Expedition activity. Now, this activity is one that I think really separates the Garmin Instinct 2 from um, both other smartwatches as well as the original Garmin Instinct. Uh, and it is a really, really awesome activity. So I'm excited to get into it. First, I'll show you how to find the activity. Then I'll open it up and talk to you about what it is and go through then some of the default settings and explain what those are. So I do, before we get into that, want to apologize. I've been away under um, orders with the reserves and I haven't been making videos as frequently, but I'm excited to get back into the swing of things. So thanks for, for bearing with me. Now to get to the expedition activity, you'll open up your list of activities in the top right corner by clicking on GPS. And I haven't favorited it. So your favorites are there with the light colored background. So I'll go below to the activities that are not in my favorites and I'll get to Expedition. Here we go. Uh, so, and you'll open it again with the top right. And now here you can see that there's all sorts of different options going on. You'll notice it says 30 days up there. That's really important because uh, what the Expedition app or the activity is, is it's a, a setting that you can leave your watch in. It's an activity that you open and you set it and forget it for multi-day uh, expeditions. So hikes or usually usually like a hike or an activity that you want, um, you know, you're going from point A to point B for over multiple days. Uh, now, so that's why the, the screen's a little different. And you'll notice if I go back to my regular uh, watch face, I have 26 days of battery life. So when I go to Expedition, that changes it to 30 days because what's going on when you start the Expedition in the background is it cancels all of the um, you know secondary activities or, or uses of your, um, your smartwatch. So you won't get calls, you won't get um, you know notifications or anything like that. And so that increases the battery life um, so that you can have it over a longer expedition. Really great feature. So I wanted to start um, by going into your options. And so if you press and hold the menu when you are at that beginning screen of any activity, you can get to the options. And here you can come to expedition settings, um, notifications and alerts, appearance, sensors, map, phone, all of these items. And I've gone through other videos. I can do more, I will do more on those. The power management, that's especially important, like I said, for those multi-day expeditions. Now, I don't have the solar version, so I especially need to make sure I, I manage my power over that time if I don't have any way to charge my you know, Garmin Instinct 2. So if you come into expedition settings, you'll see that the recording interval is 60 minutes. So I'm going to, every 60 minutes, I'm gonna leave this activity running as I'm hiking over multiple days. And every 60 minutes, it's going to take a track, a point um, of where I am. And then it'll connect those dots at the end of my activity. Um, well, even as you're in the activity, it'll start connecting those dots so that it, it can give you a, a good, accurate representation of your expedition. Now, it's going to record it after sunset, you can say on, so that it just compiles all of them after sunset and not during. Right now I left that off because I do want it to record while I'm having those tracks during the day, I wanna be able to look at my watch and see you know, what my progress is. Uh, so then you can change the background color, you can rename this activity, and then restore the, the default settings, which is what we are right now. So the recording interval, that's especially important because there are some uh, you know, articles out there that say you can only have 50 recorded points. Um, let me know down in the comments if that's true. I've, I've seen conflicting reports of that. Um, but if that is true and you're going out on a longer expedition than 50 hours of daylight, uh, then you'll want to maybe change that interval point system. Um, the record after sunset, that's important as well because once the sun sets and uh, you know, you're, you're not moving anymore, it, it may not record those. So that's also why I would want to keep it off because you know, the, the instinct knows when sunset and sunrise is 
Uh, and so if you're only able to move between those hours and have it recorded, that's another consideration. So um, if I, I would actually recommend that you leave that off, but it is an interesting feature to have. So now let's go through some of the default screens. Um, so here you can see your totals uh, per day. Uh, so distance per day, the time or distance. This is really your main screen that you would have on, I think, as you're, um, as you're hiking. Maybe, maybe this one as well. Oops, sorry, I went back to the menu. Maybe the, the above one um, as well as you're hiking just to see the time. So let me go down to the next screen here. Here you have your map, also really useful and often a, a default on some of your other hiking activities. And then you're back to your, your start. So those are the default screens, just one, two, three screens. Um, I always recommend, you know, trying out the defaults and then from there, customizing your activities to meet your needs. You'll have plenty of time on your expedition to customize it. Um, and again, to do that, you come to your menu and go to your expedition settings. So you can also add different screens to your, um, like any activity. And I'll be making a video on how to add custom screens to your activities here soon. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel. I hope you had a, uh, hope you found this useful. Definitely get out there and try your expedition. I think it's a really, really cool feature that distinguishes the Garmin Instinct 2 from its competitors um, and has some really great, you know, it's a great feature. Thanks again. Have fun out there. Semper Paratus and Ghost Chris out.